everything is not gonna be a Cinderella story. This is not gonna be a happily ever after all the time. This is real life. Hip to hip, there you go, good work. Everything that is going through your head that is not supposed to be there, all the pressure about fighting. Beat up on that bag and let it all out. Tempo. Forget about everything else. It's gonna be wins, losses, draws. The important part is how you come back from it. I embrace the pressure. I've always felt the weight of everybody wanting me to be great in boxing. I accepted the challenge, and I understand that that's what comes with the game. I don't shy away from stuff like that. I embrace it. At the time that I was 14, though, I wasn't confident in myself. I didn't really see me going that far. I didn't know if I would be able to, you know, handle that pressure. But now you see, like, a different switch every single time I fight. You don't see me outside smiling and joking and stuff like that, but when I'm inside that ring, it's a different animal. You see the Bruce outside the ring, and you're gonna see Shushu inside the ring. There's no success story without pain. <sighs> Come on. Come on. If it was easy, everybody would do it. Anybody gonna do what I do. <sighs> Team Carrington, baby. What's up, baby? How you doing? Doing good. How you doing, champ? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's good, baby? Do the glove. Do the glove. Ready? Nah, I'll be nervous. I'll be nervous for like my guys fighting and everything like that, to be honest, because it's like I can't control what Nico's gonna do. I can't control what my friends are gonna do. So it's like I'm extra nervous when they're fighting. Push the pace! He getting tired! Push the pace! I like the fact I'm like, oh he got some power to him. Like that boy could punch. Shoot shoot down! Shoot shoot down! Yeah! Yeah! Yeah. Glenn Feldman scores the bout, 76-76, declaring this a split draw. The pressure of being Muhammad Ali's grandson. Every little move he makes, someone's gonna have something to say. And I kind of respect him for being able to step in the ring and take up that pressure and kind of keep going forward. I thought you had it. Everybody felt like you had it for an hour, so. Xander, he was just turning 11 when I started working with him. He lit up a room, you know. The first time he walked into the gym, he just has that charisma. That's it, right there. We're working hard, baby. That's it. Stay active. There you go. The first time I heard of Xander, he must have been 12 or 13, right when he began training in South Florida, competing in amateur boxing events. His presence was quickly felt locally. And then as he got a little bit older and was competing regionally and nationally, his name was just a prominent name. After about 14, 15 years old, I told Peter, keep an eye on this kid. I knew that I had this kid in the gym now that he's gonna be a top fighter one day. At the beginning, it wasn't my decision. It was my mom's decision. I was being a victim of bullying, so she decided to put me in boxing just to learn how to defend myself. Hook off your jab. Right there. Hook off your jab. That's it. 
the only thing going through my mind is like, I don't want to be bullied. I don't want to be beat by some guy that is just bigger than me. There you go, nice. But kind of went away once I started getting confidence on myself that I could fight, that I could defend myself. He always had that inkling, you know, I'm, I, I want to be a world champion, but everybody says that. But you got to see that commitment. You know, you got to see that, you know, day in, day out grind. I fall in love with it. The dedication, the hard work, the ethic that you had to have, and the way that I was able to push myself to the limits to become better. We decided, hey, as soon as possible, we want to turn pro. By 2019, I made it happen. In the 50 plus year that they've been as a promoter, to be the youngest ever, wow. It was just amazing. It's, it's a dream come true. It's a lot of pressure to be called the next anything, right? But remember, this is the pressure game. You're going in there and you're fighting another man who's just inches away from you. So the pressure of people having expectations, it comes with the territory. It is a lot to live up to, but the way that my parents brought me up, I was responsible for every decision that I made. I was responsible for every step that I took and I know what I have to do to be successful. Let's get it. This camp light is what we do. So I came back from Puerto Rico. I used to visit Puerto Rico for two months. He was on vacation and he didn't train over there, right? So he was lazy during those two months. I came back and I was just out of shape. We went for a run and I ended up throwing up and just not being able to finish the run because I was out of shape and everybody was keeping a different pace that I, that I could. I said to him, look, if, if you want to make it, either we put everything into it or would you just take it as a hobby? And I told him, I'm going to give you a week to think about it. And right there he said, no, I don't need it. This is what I want to do. Never since I have to wake him up, never since I have to do something for him, he's right there, on point every time. I gave it to him on his 18th birthday. <laughs> that painting that my sister did for me has my favorite quote. You don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great, from Muhammad Ali. I go by it, I feel it every time I read it, and he, he punches me up. Nah. <laughs> Forever Ike is my brother. He was my older brother. He was about four years older than I was. He passed at the age of 21. So I carry him around me when he, he was killed. Like, it was like, this person is just gone. You're never going to see him again. It's just, it's just super tough. It, it hurts so bad. Like, it's not even the death part that hurts. It's like after, like afterwards. The gym became more of a temple of peace. He coached me to continue to work and keep going. Be the best you can be. I don't care what you do in life. Be the best you can be, don't be second to nobody. I've been taking this word and we're going as far as we can go. squeezing out the bread. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome inside the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden. How you feeling? I'm hungry. 
hungry. I'm hungry. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're not hungry. You don't I'm hungry anymore. No, you're not. All right, I'm starving. You're not hungry. These events bring everyone together. There's a hubbub of noise. You're chattering with people. You're starting to predict who's going to win the fight. You're on. You're just on. From Brownsville, Brooklyn, New York, Bruce Shoo Shoo Carrington. 126.8. 126.8 for Bruce Shoo Shoo Carrington. Luis Poroso, eight rounds in the featherweight division. What it must feel like to a Xander Zayas, who's 20 years old, fighting in a place where Miguel Cotto was hugely followed, where Tito Trinidad had garnered massive support, who became legends here in their country, but also in the United States. From San Juan, Puerto Rico, Xander Zayas. 152.8 for Xander Zayas. It must be great for these guys. It's the magic dust. This is a hallowed arena. I was sipping water. Right? In them, they find that heroism. How imperturbable can they be? How much can they take? How much can they withstand? How much can they not be broken? University jacket. Your ring walk? I mean, we know you bring it every time. Yes. What, what, what's it going to be? Um, Eladio Carrion um, will okay. be my ring walk. The name in Spanish is If You Can Dream It, You Can Achieve It. It's going to be a, a special song. He inspires all his fans and, and the youth of Puerto Rico. So that's something that I want to do. Being Puerto Rican means the world. It's, it feels amazing to wake up every morning and say, man, I'm a Puerto Rican fighter. They are behind me, they support me, they want me to bring glory to Puerto Rico, and I want to do the same. I want to unite all, all those families like Tito Trinidad united them, like Miguel Cotto. Super welterweight champion of the world. He looks up to Miguel Cotto, to Felix Trinidad, but he doesn't compare himself to them. He just wants to be Xander Zayas and bring glory to the island the same way that those fighters did. You know, there's a Puerto Rican weekend. Special weekend for you. Yes. Emotional weekend for you. The Puerto Rican Day Parade, I feel like it unites the island and, and the people from New York and from everywhere around the world. They just want to see their famous athletes just saying hi and, and waving to them. How are you going to keep your emotions in check to stay calm in the ring and take care of business? It's another day for me. It's another day. It's another fight. Obviously, I'm excited. But once I get in that ring, it's just a regular day. Boxing holds, like, a special place in Brownsville. Brownsville is a neighborhood in Brooklyn, a neighborhood. For us to produce seven world champions, Albumi Davis is our first world champion. Daniel Jacobs, Shannon Briggs, Zab Judah, Edu Mustafa Muhammad, Riddick Bo, Mike Tyson. Like, it's something in the water that at this point. That's when Mike Tyson was going crazy in the crowd when you knocked dude out. I, remember, I was there. I was right there. I've always was like a boxer puncher, aggressive boxer puncher, trying to get you out of there. That's just me coming up from Brownsville, to be honest. I, yeah, me coming up from Brownsville, I always had that type of aggression. I just want to be able to be, you know, number eight on the list of Brownsville champions. That's it? The training be tough, don't get me wrong, bro. I'm not cutting weight. It's the, it's the roughest part. I'm trying to I put way too much jelly on. There's such a thing as too much jelly with you? Yes, it is. Just watch how much. Yeah. It's like three layers. Yo, mind your business. That is three layers. That's Uncle not, that's two and a half. You like jelly and bread anyway. It's struggle, man. It's what you eat, jelly oh, and bread. No, jelly, jelly wins, right? No. Jelly wins. Bruce 
quarantine right yes. here. Yes. Okay? I know that's you. Yes. My like so go in. We're gonna get your urine done, then we're gonna go upstairs, we're gonna see a doctor. We'll get your hands wrapped, get you warmed up. Of course. Over here in New York, we take it very seriously, mm -hmm. we break rules, we go with the persons. Mm -hmm. But now you can do whatever you want. Yes, Once sorry. you pee, yeah. you see the doctor, yeah. wherever you go, whatever you do, we there. We like glue. That's perfectly fine. I'm happy <laughs> you're my best friend. <laughs> yeah, perfectly fine. If it's you, I'm, I'm fine. Urine test, urine test. I drink all this freaking water, bro. It's annoying. <laughs> I hate it. Who's Chief Second? OK. Anything on the table? Anything you're worried about? Anything concerns? OK, with that said, I worry about five things. Low blow, kidney punch, rabbit punch, use of the head, hold it. <laughs> this is a master at work. I'd like to ask you about those dots. Just showing that we've examined the whole part. And that's the future champion of the world right there, Andrew Zeich. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome inside the world's most famous arena. We're here in the theater at Madison Square Garden. This is boxing. This is top rank. <laughs> Introducing out of the red corner from Brownsville, Brooklyn, New York. Shushu Carrington! Let's go, Shu! Protect yourself at all times. Tuck a loose, touch him up. Ooh, nice counter right from Carrington. In close, unnerving, but also. That set up a nice body shot. Left hook to the solar plexus. Your hands up, set the pace, okay? Be smart. When he feels like he's got his fighter on the way, hurt. That was a mean uppercut right there. Right. But also, this is tough. When you got him in center, why you ain't bumping him? Bump him. His legs aren't sturdy. The words forever Ike are in reference to his brother, who was a victim of gun violence. Ooh, there you go. Good step back. And that's exactly what Kei Karoma asked for. He's close, but then he's away. And then he's to the side of you, and then he hits you. That unnerves an opponent. Shushu Carrington with a right hook. Starting to bully him and say, you may be the bigger man, but you're not the stronger man, and I'm going to hit you at will. Sean Clark already said, show me something. So the referee is focused on the reactions from Luis Poroso here. It's becoming target practice. Come on, right there, he's down. Ref looks like he's looking to stop. Yeah, he's waiting for one punch. That's the third time this round, and there it is. Your winner by technical knockout, Bruce Shushu Carrington. I'm feeling great, feeling like a million bucks, baby. Let's go. I got in some rounds, you know? I'm glad I got in the eight rounds. My first time even touching the eight rounds, you know, I stopped them in the later rounds. So that shows that I can still get a guy out of there even when the fight is going longer. So, you know, the sky's the limit right now. This, was, this wasn't from a punch, man. It wasn't from a punch. Straight head, but. The boxing calendar always has this weekend circle for this historic venue locked in. It's the great tradition of Puerto Rican Day Parade weekend and world-class fights at Madison Square Garden. It's only one thing what you have to do. And that's getting that ring and inflict pain and get out as a winner. Hey, Lauren, we thank you for this beautiful night. Please ask you to keep him and his opponent safe. Let his mind be clear. Let him have some fun and put him a show. In my opinion. Him in. Introducing out of the red corner. Wearing black trunks with gold trim. 15 fights, 15 victories. From San Juan, Puerto Rico, Xander Zayas! The dynamic 
20 year old prospect hoping to secure a title shot in the course of a year from now Trey. No doubt about it if he stays the course he's right there. And spark things early on here in round number one. Oh, and he comes with a left hook on the back end of that combination. Yeah, the body shot before that was me. Xander Zayas was ready to come out firing. You hear the ish, ish. That's letting me know that there's bad intentions on every shot. I love his left hook to the body and to the head. Well, and what I really hook. appreciate, Dre, is that he's always thinking about finishing with him. That's it, head off center. And Zayas in control here as he's head hunting against Cruz. Clean left hook. To oh, consistently, Dre. He's Mean landed 63 body. body punches. After eight rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for the official decision. Hey, great job. Your winner by unanimous decision, who this evening also receives the Miguel Cotto Award in honor of the Puerto Rican Day Parade, Xander Zaya! Boxing is emblematic for this nation, for these peoples. So there was pressure on him, and, and he went hunting for a finish in this fight. And his opponent was durable, hard, tough. You could feel it when he came in, the excitement of people, the excitement of the Puerto Rican community. They want a new star. There is pressure on them at this point. There's pressure on to perform at home. There's pressure with family watching. There's always pressure for these guys. Right now, we're grinding. We, we, gotta, we, we, we still got a lot of work to do. We're taking it day by day. Hopefully, by next year, I'm knocking the door for a world title, and we'll go from there. For these guys, they've got all the ingredients to go to the very, very top. 